making a soap, a hand soap, using beeswax and honey. We just recently got bees in our backyard, and although we haven't gotten anything from them yet in terms of honey or beeswax, I wanted to work on some recipes using materials that are made by bees so that when I do start being able to harvest things, I have some experience working with those materials under my belt. So for right now, I'm just using beeswax that I got from Amazon and then honey from a local farmer's market. And I'm going to incorporate them into this soap recipe. I'm also going to be using this fragrance oil. It's totally optional. It's called Pure Honey from Brambleberry. It is one of my favorite of their fragrances. It's just really sweet and has like a soft, um, sweet smell to it. And I'm going to be using some of my favorite soap making oils palm oil, olive, coconut, avocado, and sweet almond. I'm not doing any butters in this recipe because the beeswax is going to considerably harden the bar. Um, and that is why I'm going to be pouring this into a mold instead of doing a loaf and then cutting it. Because when soap is hard and you pour it into a mold, its hardness actually becomes an asset because you're able to pop it out and still get all of these details. Um, now, like I said, the beeswax is going to make it harder. Honey actually has the opposite effect of softening the soap. So it just means that it's going to take a while for it to cure. I'm not going to, normally I would put my soap in the oven to go through gel phase, but with honey, it naturally heats up the soap and keeps it softer longer. So for this, I actually found that putting it in the freezer worked best. So I'm going to assume that you know the basics of soap making and all the safety that is required. So if you don't, I have some previous posts you would want to check out. If you do, go ahead and follow along and we will make these really pretty, nicely scented bars from scratch. Our oils have been heated up and melted and now they have cooled back down to about 110 degrees and our lye has cooled down also to about 110 degrees. The beeswax sometimes will start to solidify as it cools so I just turned the heat on for a second, melted it back, um, made sure that it wasn't too hot and now I'm ready. Notice this is going to come to trace very very quickly because of that beeswax. Um, so just be aware of that when you start blending. So you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of marks left by my stick blender. Um, I'm going to move really quickly here because this is going to set. Tablespoon of honey. This is really just added for purposes of moisturizing the skin. 
don't use your stick blender anymore. Mix it with a knife or a whisk. And now my fragrance, which is the pure honey fragrance oil. I'm gonna go ahead and do two and a half tablespoons. Mix. It really smells good. <laughs> One thing about this recipe is that when you add honey to a soap, it's going to naturally color it as the soap cures, and it's a really pretty light honey color. So colorant would be pointless and unnecessary, which is good because we are quickly running out of time. You can see how it's starting to gel and solidify. If you were to try and stick blend your fragrance in, this would rice up on you. I typically would do three tablespoons of fragrance for a soap this size. And I'm, it's not rising, but I'm not gonna do the full three. I'm gonna go two and a half. I like a stronger scented soap. This is personal preference. Because you are gonna lose some of that fragrance as it cures. time to pour. I have this jam jar here which is just to keep my mold flat. Don't be distracted by it. <laughs> okay, this is good. Really setting up here. Okay. Now some people like this sort of like lumpy look on top, a sort of, you know, a rustic look. I do not, so I hope I have enough time to my honey has discolored a tiny bit at the bottom of the pan because there is still a lot of heat in that pan so it's almost caramelizing it's not going to affect anything about my finished product other than these bars with a darker batter are just going to be a little bit darker in color it's actually kind of pretty <laughs> And for some reason they are easier to work with. Okay, so before this sets, I'm just gonna smooth these out. The fragrance on this is so good. I really recommend this pure honey fragrance. last bit of this out. And that color is already turning and it's really pretty. It's the exact color that you would want a honey soap to be. Keep on smoothing 